So we just got off of Tomahawk, which Sean is technically like 17 centimeters too tall for no, or something. Like, like nine centimeters. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a miracle that we were able to ride. I mean, the ride operator really came through by making sure we were locked somehow. I mean, I had no problem locking. And set the train. But that's because I sat down first. By the time Alex had to sit down, like I had wider hips. Alex is a bigger tum, I guess, if yeah. you can call that belly. Yeah. So like, it's kind of depends. Like this, this, this restraint system worked out for me. I got like three clicks. I got, I just barely got one. And then once he stapled me in, I had my bag in my lap and we went. <laughs> So it's really, really grateful to have gotten that credit because that was not one that huh. did not expect that we would be able to get that. So, next is dinner. Stampeda. I'm gonna ride Stampeda, huh? Mm -hmm. We have dinner soon though. That's okay, we got enough time. We All have right, 30 minutes till dinner.
probably pretty honorable. So wow. for all the things that Porta Matura does wrong, which has a long list, um, it did the show really well. It was that awesome. Nighttime show. Yeah, we got uh, the floats were really creative, really fun. Really unique. Love the respect that they paid to their own themed lands, the being the worlds. Yeah. Like they really like Polynesia, um, China, the Far West, and Mexico are really like their storytelling, kind of like continuous line that the, f the park follows, and uh, that was actually quite good. So. I'm impressed. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, you know, I mean, 
I'm impressed, and that's good. Yeah. Like, um, it was kind of like a it's mini chime like, long. It wasn't like a, oh, that's nice for, you know, whatever it is. That was, like, genuinely enjoyable. I thought it was, like, a much better take on, like, the Walt Disney World water pageant, where, like, there's just a lot more going on. Yeah, like, the, like the little, a little bit of phantasmic in there. The little scene where they, where you have, like, the um, cowboys and horses shooting at each other. And, uh, and taking over the stagecoach, that was really, really yeah, clever yeah. and cute. So uh, yeah, totally overall good stuff. And the, look, the water ski guys are still going. They're doing like a whole like post-show dance party thing going. Hope you guys right can hear now. all this just because there's a lot of music, like, a lot of people talking, but yeah. hope you guys can hear this. Here's one last look at this and we'll get to catch you guys on the next part of vlog. everyone, it's day two of Puerto Matuga. No Ferrari land today, it's great, <laughs> so it's in a better mood. Um, joined by Andrea again, and joined by Alex. Hi! Alex the European team. It's soaking wet. He goes way back to the Ferrari land at least. Alex took one for the team and rode in the front of the log flume and was was completely engulfed by a wall of water. A complete yeah, my shower. other pants are so <laughs> I mean, that was pretty attack. It was like, a great like riding Splash Mountain in Anaheim, where like the wall of water Super gets appears awesome. and everyone just fucks. Yeah. yeah, leave that one. And on. the views are really great from the Rock Pool. So oh, now, yeah, was awesome. now that we're nice and wet, we're probably gonna do the Rapids ride and then the, the other flume ride that shoots. No, the we're shoot. gonna do. <laughs> box oh yeah, we're gonna do Furious yeah. Taco. Need to get that cred. That's right. So we are here at Bora Bora restaurant, which is a vegetarian vegan focused restaurant. We made our own poke bowls. They have a smoothie, which kind of dessert. Not a Pokeball, not a smoothie. A really good dessert. Oh, you're sorry. Really good dessert. <laughs> uh, we also just rode Fudas Baco, which is our favorite right here favorite right now. Right here. That thing was insane. Like, I grayed out. It was absolutely in intense. It was insane. I can't believe how good it was. So, um, yeah, that's right. We'll, uh, we'll show some video clips in this vlog as well. Let's 
we just rode on core twice. We had a great ride. I'm amazed nobody's firing at me right now because the camera I feel like would be a, a good motivation to get me wet. But yeah, we really, it's really an enjoyable ride. Okay, this is Team Coach Kings dying on Hulk on Condor, which is a 285 foot drop. Foot drop, not meters. Foot, feet, <laughs> drop. And it seemed to like this Mayan building bursting into the sky and the roof is all the way up there. And it takes a picture of you, which is freaking terrifying. Um, the views were amazing. We got the sit down one. There's, a, there's five towers, there's two sit downs and two stand were open earlier today and uh, now it went down to one sit down and two stand ups yeah we rode the uh, the sit down side which i kind of wanted because sit down side hasn't been open at all there's five total and the view was just amazing the view was uh, we just saw the ocean and we saw ferrari I mean, and it was just awesome view. it was awesome Panoramic. it was very good probably one of my favorite rides here we also rode el diablo a couple times we rode dragon con a couple times we rode the uh, splash battle as you saw probably in the in this video already um overall good stuff we're having a good day it's actually not as busy as it was yesterday despite it being friday so I don't know if like, everyone is traveling back home today, but it really isn't that busy. So, yeah. This is day three, while we have your attention. Uh, we're watching Vulcan Condor Drop. We just actually wrote it, um, standard version. Hurts a little bit, but it was awesome. We didn't have to wait very long for it. Um, now we're riding El Diablo. Don't let me know again. Which is our favorite little mine train coaster. Super fun, only air on mine train in Europe. Europe. So, good stuff is still waking up a little bit. So I know this is like a rusty little introduction for day three, but... And now for this ride that I really wanted to do, but it's practically dead. There were six boats, just one left, and now the actual river flume area for it is used more for like a, like a water parade show thing. But there is this like boat ride that goes around to the four different worlds of, I forget, perhaps only three of them. Yeah, it just has a um, station and Mediterranean station here. 
ride, but it passes through Polynesia. But it goes, yeah, so go to Polynesia, Mediterranean, west, and then back to China. It's really beautiful here. It's just really sad this ride is not open anymore. It's very, it's been very much not used in a very long time. But look, it's all like, you can still walk here, but it's all very, the waterfall is very, yeah, well, not what it used to be, that's for sure. God, it's nasty. Okay. That's sad. Very sad. The Samurai Summit. The Samurai Summit. Oh, where did I do that? Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. It's very pretty. This is not maintained. I mean, it looks kind of awful when you get closer, but once upon a time, Universe on Bush really took care of making this very painstakingly and maintaining it painstakingly. Oh, look, there's more broken rock work. All right, the longer we look, the worse it gets. Let's get out of here. doing that again because then all the other coasts there's plenty of times um but that's just we only done it twice and it's so good so we want to do it one more time but the line took two hours i'm on a two hour kind of line mood um but yeah we're just gonna enjoy our train ride for a little bit here is china coming up
So we're excited to do some tapas. We didn't realize the portion sizes were quite large here, but we're so excited. So uh, we'll get started with that. A bottle of water each. Use the Mediterranean Harbor in the background.
vamos a ello. So dramatic, so shrek. So Mexico. Uh, to ride Stampeda again, which we've ridden now three times so far this trip. It was awesome, really liked it. Uh, we have our express pass to use, so we're actually gonna go through the exit. Um, but we wanted to show you guys kind of like what the ride looks like, because it's super, it's super awesome. Like, I mean, it's not the smoothest when it goes on Earth by any means. The blue side's a little rough than the red side. I gotta break stuff a little bit, but the room isn't terrible. And uh, overall experience, uh, I like a lot better than I thought it would. Kind of has a dueling, da dueling dragons kind of vibe to it, because what it mainly does is, um, Dueling wagons, that's what uh, I wagons. I give credit for that. Um, when you are in the queue, you will split up into two different wagons. And you walk through the wagons, the red wagon and the blue wagon. Definitely gives kind of like dueling dragon vibes. And then like the whole theme is like the racing wagons through the far west, as the area is called. Um, great presence, very much gives me roller coaster coon vibes. You're like, this is kind of like one of those pipe dreams. You build this giant western area with your western wooden coaster. Cool stuff. Always well, on a train to come by, but uh, yeah, we're gonna ride again. Take a little break, a little break break at the hotel. We are staying at Puerto Ventura's Colorado Creek Hotel, which is the newest hotel. And it's part of the uh, Gold River Hotel area, which also has Lucy's Mansion, which is like their super fancy hotel. It's like a giant mansion, only a couple of rooms. Um, that's like their super fancy thing. We're like the second fanciest. We're like the highest tier. Um, along with the Puerto Ventura Hotel itself, we did the main entrance. This one's brand new, so we figured we'd do this one. Also, we always kind of like a good, good themed experience at our own park entrance. So, when you're in the Wild West area from Stampeda, Hotel Gold River is the entrance. And that's also where you get to Lucy's Mansion and Colorado Creek. But Hotel Gold River is the original big hotel for Puerto Ventura World. And right here, you see this giant construction hole. That's where the new roller coaster presumably is going. And here we leave to get out.
Oh, let's go do a little key card check. And then you have your own private walkway that brings you back to the hotel. Seen appropriately to the far west area. There's some stampeda. It's cute. Got our own little bridge. Awfully nice and calm over here. Oh, they actually catch some beautiful views. There's their Caribbean water park. There's some people now. And here's the hotel. Oh, The, uh, this is the Gold River Hotel area. Like there you have Lucy's Mansion. Um, pretty nice pool. We're gonna go check out our own pool. We just did the car the three building. Yeah, they're pretty significant over here. I guess we can walk up the stairs over there. Yeah. Yeah. I like the dark color of the pool. Pretty naturalistic. So look at the giant hornet. Massive. So level one pool, level two pool. This is a little kid pool. Yeah, no spice pad here. And here is another large pool. This is a deeper pool. Yeah, the three pool areas are kind of cool. And here's another view at Gold River Hotel. Here's the river bar. And this is uh, Lucy's mansion. This is the expensive, expensive mansion. They have several rooms, including a nice restaurant inside. And what I think are the coolest looking rooms in the whole place. Art Sullivan Station 1873 rooms, which are part of Gold River Hotel, but they're their own building and they're inside a train station. And at night it looks awesome. So, I don't know if you get it for request that, but that's a cool place for sure. And then right behind Gold River Hotel is the brand new hotel Colorado Creek. This is our hotel. And it's a little bit more of like a mountainous vibe. It's pretty, it's cool. We're in the main building, which is this building right here. For some reason I wish we could get the Christmas lights up right year round, which I'm not sure what that's all about, but for them to do other things. We forgot to do a room tour last night, but room is cute. I'm not this messy bed. This is the bed you want to look at. Colorado Creek themed. Pretty large actually. Quite grand. Lots of storage space. AC. Bathroom is pretty nice. Again, we have used this actively. Ha! This reminds me of our charger at the back. So, overall pretty good stuff. It's a pretty nice room if you have to stay at Portland Duvet. 
This is new, so I really liked it. So definitely recommend Colorado Creek. It is hot as balls here in the Cuba Food is back home. But we want to ride one more time. It's our last morning, only here for a couple hours. So we got into the park early from, I guess we were early admission from the hotel and went straight to the queue. The battery And now we're trying to ride Cuba is back home. We'll see. It's very busy, very hot. There's already like a really bad line behind us. So, um, or in front of us really, so we'll see. With the sounds of the Aero Mine Train behind us, we will say goodbye to Puerto Ventura. We've been here for about four days, maybe a little bit less. Four three technical nights. calendar days, yeah. three nights, one evening, one morning, and two full days. Uh, we had a good time. This park is full of flaws, but it is also full of surprises that we did enjoy. Um, shout out to the staff last night on Hulukan Condor for even though the park was already closed, there was only like 60 people waiting to get on. They went to the efforts of getting the ride to operate and then half hour, half hour after the park closed, we got the ride. Uh, that was really nice of them. We uh, we rode everything quite a bit. We rode through this back up four times, which was good. Some rides Tended were- Tended to like nine times. Some rides that we expected to be magnificent weren't as good as we had hoped. And other rides were big surprises that we hadn't counted on, so. Be sure to check out our Fragalent video as well. Um, that is its own vlog because it's its own place and it's its own story, let's say that. Uh, don't miss that. It's yeah. definitely a story. Um, but overall, um, beautiful, gorgeous park. I really enjoy the older bones of the, the park. The Bush Gardens soul Universal here soul really, is amazing. Yeah, the Bush Gardens and Universal blood is still here, and it's the parts that are the, the parts that are best worth, worth visiting for. On. The newer changes and decisions by management, I'm not a big fan of. Um, but we still had a good time. The hotel experience was fun. It was nice to be the hotel was really doing nice. the resort thing. So I we enjoyed, enjoyed that. some cool time. Chill yep. time, relaxing time. And so. with that, don't uh, don't forget to look at thecoastkings.com. Uh, we'll have a report of this place as well. Like, and check subscribe, out. Subscribe, follow, etc. All the good stuff. And, and all Alex, social media. Adios. Adios. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Yeah.